There's six main steps for uh, LRFD development. The first two are related to loads. So first we need to define the different kind of loads that we can have. And we need to define our load variability. So the two primary loads that we'll deal with in uh, reinforced concrete design are live load and dead load. So we have dead load and we have uh, live load. And our load variability, our dead load will be relatively, uh, will have a, a relatively low variability and our live load will have a relatively high variability. Um, so using these two, we can define some of our uh, load factors then. Next we need to consider our member strength variability. So we will define member strength variability and there are several different things that will contribute to this variability. Uh, one will be variability within the materials we use. Uh, so the two main materials that we'll use in our reinforced concrete design are our steel and our concrete. Uh, within our steel we may have variability in our yield strength or we will have variability in our yield strength. Uh, there will be a slight variability within the actual area of the steel um, and this variability in size will also be dependent uh, on the size of the bar. So. Uh, let's say the diameter of our bar is going to impact our, our steel variability. I will also have different strain rate effects and also there will be uh, some discrepancy between the way we measure these properties and uh, the actual um, performance of the materials within the uh, reinforced concrete beam. Uh, so then we'll also have variability in our concrete. So we'll have variability in our, our F prime C uh, or our compressive strength and uh, we can also have variability in our, our concrete area and uh, let's say concrete area variability and then also um, some in situ effects so some effects of how the concrete will behave when it's actually uh, in the member We'll also have some uh, geometric variability and uh, this can be with our uh, member sizes or dimensions. So things won't get built exactly as designed. There's always some kind of uh, tolerance um, for how large a member is and um, where bars are and things like that. Um, and we can also have some analytical variability. And this is uh, some variability between how we analyze our beam or our members and how they actually behave. After defining all of our variabilities, the next step is to uh, select our format. So we'll select uh, format for uh, factor implementation. We need to 
uh, select our target reliability. And we also need to determine our load and resistance factors. So these last three steps are uh, done differently depending on the code. Um, in ACI, what we'll generally do is amplify our uh, loads and resistance. So what we'll see is for our load, we'll have dead load and live load. And we'll add on our load factors. And then we'll also on the uh, resistance side, let's say we have um, an axial loaded member, we'll add on a fee, which if we're tension controlled would reduce our strength by uh, 10%.